we have seen incredible progress in video games with each Xbox console release. Each new generation of Xbox consoles seem to push the boundaries on what we once thought to be impossible, and this is no exception for the latest Xbox generation console, Xbox Series X. We will be looking at every Xbox console ever released and also include some gameplay footage to show the amazing progress Xbox has made. We will also talk about other incredible ways Xbox has revolutionized the video game industry forever. It all started 20 years ago on November 15th of 2001 when the original Xbox was released. The console market was dominated by PlayStation 2 with GameCube and Dreamcast in the mix, so it was uncertain if Xbox could successfully penetrate the market. It turns out 550,000 Xboxes were sold within the first week the Xbox was released, clearly showing there was a place for the Xbox. The console ended up selling around 24 million units in its lifetime. The massive hit Halo Combat Evolved, developed by Bungie, was released with the console and became the face of Xbox. The game was a huge success and received rave reviews, leading it to sell more than 5 million copies by 2005. Halo 2 was then released in November 9th of 2004 and included global multiplayer matchmaking on Microsoft's Xbox Live service. Not only was the multiplayer a huge success, but the campaign was also a huge favorite among many gamers. Halo 2 ended up selling at least 6.3 million copies in the US alone, and by June 2006 had more than 500 million games played and more than 710 million hours played on Xbox Live. Xbox had a number of other great games including Ninja Gaiden which sold 1.5 million copies by 2007 and Fable which initially had a poor reception due to overpromising on features but ended up selling 3 million copies. Xbox 360 was the next Xbox that was released on November 22nd in 2005 and launched a full year before the PlayStation 3 and Nintendo Wii arrived, which put the Xbox 360 in a great position to gain market share. The console shipped more than 1.5 million units by the end of 2005, proving a massive success but had some serious hardware issues known as the Red Ring of Death. This was a fatal error that Microsoft had to repair and replace on a unit by unit basis. Even with these issues, the Xbox 360 ended up selling more than 85.8 million units by September 2020. Many refer to the Xbox 360 as the glory days of Xbox due to the number of hit games that were also exclusive to the Xbox. This includes Halo 3 that sold more than 14.5 million copies and other great games that sold millions of units like Halo Reach, Halo 4, Gears of War, Gears of War 2, and Gears of War 3. On June 14th, 2010, a slimmer model of the Xbox 360 was released named Xbox 360S. The Model S had a more powerful processor and motherboard to assist with reducing hardware issues experienced with the original Xbox 360. One more iteration of the Xbox 360 was released on June 10th of 2013, called Xbox 360E. This model was slightly smaller and quieter than the Model S. The Xbox One was the next console that launched on November 22nd of 2013, and many consider this console to be the low point of the Xbox's history. There was a ton of backlash with the console before it even released. Xbox One was originally supposed to require a constant internet connection to play. You would also not be able to play used games on an Xbox One, eliminating the ability to trade in your games or buy used games for cheaper prices. Both of these decisions were reversed before launch, but the damage had already been done. The Xbox One was also $100 more expensive than the PS4 and required the purchase of a Kinect which includes a video camera on the device. Initially, Microsoft said the Kinect would have to be plugged in for the Xbox One to work. 
but this decision was also retracted after many complaints that this might be a potential surveillance device. Instead of focusing on games, the Xbox One was focused more towards television integration with built-in apps and voice commands. This was a fatal mistake that took years to recover from. Luckily, Xbox had a massive ace up its sleeve with Phil Spencer, who would change the Xbox and video game industry forever. One of the biggest complaints with the Xbox One was lack of Xbox game exclusives. The Xbox One had Halo 5 Guardians, which had fun multiplayer, but the campaign was not received very well as this story did not focus on Master Chief. Halo 5 was the only addition to the Halo series in the Xbox One console generation, aside from Halo The Master Chief Collection, which includes Halo 1-4 and Halo Wars 2. The Gears of War launched two additions to the series, Gears of War 4 and Gears 5, which would both be praised for great campaigns and incredibly fun multiplayer. The second iteration of Xbox One was the Xbox One S that released on August 2nd of 2016. The console was 40% smaller, added high dynamic range, also known as HDR, and a 4K Blu-ray drive. There were also improvements made to the GPU and hard drive. The final release of the Xbox One was the Xbox One X, which hit stores on November 7th of 2017. This was the first Xbox console with the capabilities of true 4K gaming, running at 60 FPS. The Xbox One X received great reviews as it launched as the most powerful console ever at that time beating the PS4 Pro in terms of raw performance. The latest generation of Xboxes to release includes the Xbox Series X and Series S which released on November 10th of 2020. The Xbox Series X was praised for the powerful hardware included for just $499 and includes true 4K gaming up to 120 frames per second and includes 8K capabilities. The GPU has 12 teraflops which is double the already powerful Xbox One X. Unfortunately for gamers it has been rather difficult to get a hold of one of these consoles due to the lack of supply. The Xbox Series S launched alongside the Series X as a more affordable choice, coming in at $299. The Series S is capable of a lower resolution of 1440p and runs up to 120 FPS. One complaint for the Series S is the lower 512GB solid state drive size compared to the Series X's 1TB size. Considering the much lower price point, I still think it's great to have this extra option available even though I chose to go with the Xbox Series X. Unfortunately, there's not been a massive list of hit games released for the Xbox Series X at this point in time. Halo Infinite was originally supposed to launch with the Xbox Series X and S but was delayed until 2021. At this point, I think most gamers would prefer a final version of the game and are willing to wait to improve Craig to get the best experience on the newest Halo game. There is also a long list of Xbox One games that have been optimized for the series X and S to include improvements to resolution as well as increased FPS which can make a massive difference when playing games. A great example of this optimization is Gears 5 which runs at 4K up to 120 frames per second with the optimization. It is great to see how you can get these massive improvements to games that you purchased in a previous generation without having to pay a fee. There are also thousands of original Xbox, Xbox 360, and Xbox One games that can be played on the newest consoles thanks to backwards compatibility. There have also been several items that have radically changed the evolution of Xbox outside of a release of a new console. Phil Spencer has been instrumental in these changes and you can check out my video on how Phil Spencer saved Xbox to get more coverage in these areas. Microsoft has been on an acquisition spree of game developers to improve the lineup of games created within the company. 
The latest acquisition was announced in September 2020 and was the acquisition of ZeniMax Media, the parent company of Bethesda Softworks. ZeniMax Media includes many incredible gaming franchises including Doom, Fallout, Elder Scrolls, Wolfenstein, Dishonored, and The Evil Within. With this incredible lineup of games added to the Xbox family, it leaves no doubt that Xbox has the best games on its platform and through Game Pass. Game Pass was launched on June 1st of 2017. This allows subscribers access to play hundreds of games for a monthly fee instead of paying hundreds or thousands of dollars each year on buying a few individual games. The business model is similar to Netflix in the sense you get access to much more content for a much cheaper price that is paid monthly. In September 2020, Microsoft partnered with EA and brought in EA Play service to Xbox Game Pass, adding even more games to the service. Huge AAA releases from Bethesda were also added to Game Pass in March of 2021, after Microsoft acquired ZeniMax, the parent of Bethesda. This added amazing games like Doom, The Elder Scrolls, and Fallout to Game Pass. xCloud is another service that has revolutionized gaming and was launched on Android devices on September 15th of 2020. This service allows you to stream video games to your Android phone or tablet. Microsoft confirmed it plans to release xCloud to Apple's iOS devices and Windows PCs by spring of 2021, which would further expand the service. While most people would rather game on their console or PC, there are many times you may want to play games while traveling. Many people commute to work on a bus or train, and many people want to play games while at an airport waiting to board a plane. Also, if you travel for work, you probably don't want to lug around a console through an airport into your hotel, so xCloud is a great alternative. xCloud simply provides more accessibility to play games whenever you want and is an amazing evolution in gaming that has changed the video game industry for the better. We also have to talk about Microsoft's current strategy with Xbox. Phil Spencer's strategy with the current console generation is not to sell as many Xbox Series X and S units as possible. It is about making games more accessible with the Game Pass subscription, allowing gamers to choose where they play and on which device they choose to play on. With Game Pass available on PC, and many Xbox exclusives like Halo The Master Chief Collection, Gears 5, Forza Horizon 4, and more launching on PC, Phil is making gamer-friendly decisions to allow you to choose to play on Xbox console or PC. xCloud also gives gamers the choice of playing games on their Android and iOS devices. Xbox has an amazing history with both ups and downs, but the current trajectory shows massive promise and potential with their latest console series X and S, and very promising services like Game Pass and xCloud that seem to get better and better. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to the channel as it allows me to continue to make content. Also, don't forget to hit the notification bell so you are the first to know when a video is released. Let me know in the comments what your favorite Xbox console is and why. Thank you for watching and have an amazing day.